So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you're gonna quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, it will then take you into this screen. So, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you're gonna quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you're gonna click on advanced options. And once you're on this, I'm gonna be showing you some methods on how we can fix this problem. So for the first method, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. If you don't see start to repair, you're gonna click on see more recovery options, then it should appear right here. So you're gonna click on start to repair. It's now gonna start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. If that did not work, you're gonna click on advanced options. If that's still not working, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options. Now we're gonna go with system restore. If you have a restore point enabled in your computer, you're gonna click on next, then you're gonna go back to your restore point. This should not fix your problem. If you do not have a restore point, that's fine. We're gonna click on cancel. And now for the third method, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in C colon, click on enter. And now we're gonna type in CD space backslash windows backslash system32 backslash config and click on enter. And now we're gonna type in MD space backup seven, click on enter again. And now we're gonna type in copy space star dot star space backup, click on enter again. And now you're gonna type in CD space regback, click on enter again. And now you're gonna type in copy space star dot star space dot dot, click on enter again. And now you're gonna type in exit, click on enter again. Now you just wanna continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed. If that's still not working, you wanna come back to this screen like I showed you how to do at the start of the video. Then you wanna click on troubleshoot and then reset this PC. If your files are not backed up, you wanna go with keep my files. If they are backed up, you wanna go remove everything. This should now fix your problem.